For several decades, Uganda has not been invaded by the deadly locust pests. Quelia bars and the army worms have been the more regular threat to Ugandan farmers in the recent years. And these birds have swarmed onto our gardens and have virtually eaten everything. Compared to the two, locusts are much more destructive, highly mobile and breed at a fast rate. This impedes on their ability to effectively combat them. According to experts, a swarm of locusts can travel more than 100 kilometers and can cover as much as 150 kilometers in a day. Desert locusts have in the recent weeks ravaged countries in the region such as Kenya, Somalia and Ethiopia, destroying all vegetation on their path. There are questions that need to be asked at this point in time. One, what is the level of our preparedness? How many planes to spray the locusts have we acquired? How many personnel are already on the ground? What is the safety of the pesticide? It is practically impossible or mockery to intelligence of humankind that uh, this one can be used to control swarms of billions of insects that, uh, that are destroying our, our, our crops and our, uh, our crops and our pasture. It is estimated that to date over 5,000 square kilometers of pasture and cropland have been destroyed in several counties in Kenya, amongst them Mandera, Marsabet, Wajir, Isiolo, Meru and Samburu. The desert locust is potentially the most dangerous of the locust pests because of the ability of swarms to fly rapidly across great distances. It is estimated that desert locusts consume the equivalent of their body weight, which is 2 grams, each day in green vegetation. The significant crop loss caused by swarming desert locusts exacerbates problems of food shortage and is a threat to food security. Unlike Kenya, Ethiopia and Somalia, Uganda locust invasion has found when government is prepared. Their entry happens against the backdrop of numerous benchmarking trips by government officials. UPDF as usual is ahead of the situation, is already deployed and our officers from disaster preparedness are already uh, in the area to ensure that they work with the local leaders and uh, local governments to mobilize the population so that this problem can be dealt with. A keen look at the whole rocker situation, however, raises more questions than answers. For instance, the approach of using pesticides and use of planes to do aerial spraying is costly and may not be sustainable considering the high rate of mobility of the insects and their rapid reproduction rate. Dennis Igor for UBC News.